poster. And it's got the map and it looks in decent shape. It's in absolute great condition. Um, then I've also got got the manual, which is absolutely in excellent shape. It really is nice. Uh, yeah, there's a very minor, minor crease at the top if you're going to be picky, but that's being picky. But interestingly enough, I really like the fact that it's got the registration card and all. <laughs> Good is that. Uh, this one was 1.99. Now on eBay, um, you're talking the cheapest is 1.99. So I broke even on that one. I didn't make any money at all on that one. But I mean that's all. That's fine. That's I mean, it's Grand Theft Auto for resale, isn't it? Uh, next one I picked up was a uh, black label Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Complete. Uh, it's got the manual, which unfortunately has writing on the top. If you can see that, I don't know. Did anyone there to get that felt pen off the top of there? There's some on the back as well, but it's on the actual plastic, not on the actual artwork. So that's good. You can just change the case. Um, the manual's okay. It's not brilliant. It's a bit. Well, there's a little crease there. Um, the map and the, the poster is in excellent shape. And for some reason it's got a, a game station pre-owned sticker inside it. And it's also got the person who bought it left a receipt in the box. <laughs> Just quite weird. I don't know why I did that. But uh, overall, the discs on both of those games are in excellent shape as well. Um, Vice City is going on eBay. Cheapest one is £3.50. And I pay £1.99. So that's £1.50 profit. So I'm probably going to keep those two for the PlayStation 2. I'm not really asked about collecting for PlayStation 2. Uh, I just want to buy the odd game now and again, but I'll just keep those because you know in 10 years' time, Grand Theft Auto games are going to be expensive. And the last one I picked up for the PS2 from Game, Sta uh, game Station, Cash Generator, sorry, is Canis Canum Edit, or otherwise known as Bully, which is another Rockstar title. Black Label. Uh, originally it was uh, from Game Station because it's got a pre owned free for a tenner on the front. Uh, the manual's in pretty shit condition, it's all complete. Uh, the manual's, yeah, pretty dog-eared to be honest, not brilliant. Uh, as is the poster, it's not fantastic, but I mean, it's alright. This was uh, also $1.99. Now uh, the disc is alright actually, it's got a lot of surface scratching, but I mean, there's no deep scratching, so that's good. And the cheapest one on eBay at the moment is £4.50. So that would give me, a, if I sold that for four pounds, that would give me a, um, well, I pay for it two quid enough. So I've doubled my money, I get another two pound on top. So I, I might sell it, I don't know. Um, the thing with this game is it's sort of one of those games you want to keep in your collection because you know in the future it might be worth a few bob. Um, just because it's Rockstar and their games always go up in price. Uh, I don't like the game particularly, I have played it before and I wasn't that keen on it. But um, yeah, I might keep that one. Alright, okay, so that was my cash generators. Um, <laughs> we're 12 minutes in already, brilliant. Right, okay, so next I went over to Game Station because last week they started pointing out Xbox games again, uh, which is where I picked up um, Oddworld Munchies Odyssey last week. Now, I had a rifle for today, this is what they got, and just before I show you what I got, uh, I've had a count off and I've got 96 black label Xbox games. I've got a few duplicate games and I've got a few, well, not a few, just a couple of platinum games or classics. So I, wiped, I took those out of the equation and I took my Halo 2 multi map. Multi -map out of the equations. I've got 96 black labels, so anything I show you now will be additional to that. So, I managed to pick up two Xbox games from GameStation, which I think are really good. I'm very impressed with, actually. Uh, and I picked up Rockstar's Manhunt. I'm on a Rockstar trip today. Right, it's complete with manual and disc in very good condition. I've checked the disc on the way home, and uh, yeah, it's, it's minty mints. There's I can't even, no that's, that's not, I thought it was a scratch but it's not, the disc is mint, uh, I don't know if they've resurfaced it or what but uh, it's in excellent shape and very nicely it's got the registration card, always a nice bonus. So yeah the manual's excellent condition uh, and that was £3.99, I'm very happy to find Manhunt because I know Manhunt can be expensive and hard to find in the wild so absolutely brilliant, uh, especially in good condition anyway. And that one is currently on eBay, the, the cheapest price I found for that one was £3.99, so I broke even, didn't make any money on that one. But it's Manhunt, and it's a great game, and it's one for the collection, that's definitely for me. And the second game I picked up, I'm really not happy to see this one, Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell, Double Agent. Uh, I've got a copy of this on the 360, uh, I don't have the 360 anymore, but I do have the game. Uh, it was bought for me as a gift a few years back for Christmas, so I will not sell that game anyway, even though I don't have the console anymore.
Right, okay. And then we have the manual and disc in excellent shape. I'm amazed they put this on the original Xbox, actually. And the disc is mint, absolutely pristine. Uh, I'm really happy. I mean, let's say game station, I know they've got a resurface this, they're not a resurface of discs, but I know a lot of games are roughly before in shit condition. I mean, um, I can't remember what it was. I picked up an uh, Xbox game I was going to buy from Game Station stand. The disc was destroyed and same with the GameCube and PlayStation, so maybe they're not resurfacing. But that was 3 99 as well. And the cheapest copy on eBay at the moment is. I've got to find it. Uh, 3 99 So yeah, I broke even on that one as well. So I made no money on that one. <laughs> Great. But um, that game is, uh, you know, in the future that's going to cost a bit. I mean, you don't really see it come up in the shops that often, so I was quite happy to see that. And in really nice condition. So that was Game Station. And then last of all, I went to my usual uh, retro horns, which was uh, MT Games. Um, and my battery's about to die, guys, so I'm going to have to show you that later on. I'll have to come back. So sorry about that. So uh, yeah, I'll be back shortly. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm back. Uh, hopefully my battery's going to last this time. <laughs> I've charged it a little bit just to do this last bit. So the last game I showed you was um, Splinter Cell Double Agent on the Xbox, uh, the original Xbox. Really great for that, 3 99 bargain. Um, also, just quickly, I forgot to mention, in Game Station they also had a copy of Star Fox Assault on the GameCube, which I couldn't believe when I saw it. It was hiding at the back of a load of games. Um, but they did want 9.99 for it, so 10 pound. I mean, the, the price is fair compared to what it is on eBay. I mean, you know, it's about right. But yeah, I've added another copy. I've already got one brand new copy and one sealed copy. So anyway, so then I went on to my favourite shop, uh, MT Games, my local retro store, um, and I picked up quite a few nice games for the Xbox. So I'll show you what I picked up. Oh, and just quickly, I've got. Um, I say about 96 games for the Xbox. I got those two from Game Station, so that's 98, and then I got a couple more from MT Games. Okay, so from MT Games, I've got the first game I picked up was uh, Burnout 3 Takedown. Uh, I love the Burnout games. I haven't got any at the moment for some reason. I just haven't really seen them around, but I really like the games. Um, they complete with manual and disc. Uh, it's really nice shape actually. The manual's in great shape. Um, you know, disc has got a lot of surface scratching, but you know, it's just the way it goes, isn't it? Uh, I love this game, it's brilliant. Uh, although I do find that I can play Burnout better when I've had about six or seven beers. Uh, I don't know why, but <laughs> the more pissed I get, the more control I have on the car. Very strange, but it's a great game. Uh, next one I picked up was uh, an interesting title, which I've seen on YouTube, and a lot of people criticise it, say it's bad. Uh, Xbox 27 I picked it up a little, quite a while back now, a couple of months ago. I'm not sure if it's Xbox or PS2. Uh, I remember we did a game plan, I'm pretty certainly did a game plan, it didn't look that bad, so uh, I picked it up. 